Oh, yeah! Kyle Larson wins at Auto Club! Fuck yes! What a day for Kyle Larson winning at Auto Club again since... Since 2017, yeah. If I'm... If I'm... I could be wrong, but I think... Yeah, it's Auto Club 2017 since Larson won there. Hell yeah! Go Larson and go HMS. Score one for HMS in 2022. How about that? But anyways, let's talk about the weekend. So, Xfinity happened. Couldn't really watch much because I was busy during Saturday. But from what I've heard, it was literally nothing. It was, it was looking and... Yeah, it was literally nothing, and I'll, I don't know if if custard really counts as a leech. Any one there, whatever. Whoop de do. Gets a meaningless win when he's already still running full time in Cup. Enough of that. So, Cup. I have to say this mainly stage one and two. We're just dominated by Reddick. And he literally had some talent during the first two stages. It was mainly a meet between a battle between Reddick, Eric Jones. And Eric and I have to say this is it we it was actually some good racing. See NASCAR? This is what happens when you don't lower the fucking horsepower. You don't have high downforce and low downforce and more horsepower works better that way. You see that? That is good racing on what you had just today. You see, maybe this could teach you something. Instead of saying, oh, we like what we're seeing. When we, when you guys had the 550 horsepower races for the past several years, it's good racing when people have the ability to pass someone. See, they could with the Gen 7, with no side force and no tapered spacer on the Gen 7. See, that is actual good racing. I mean, my God, you could pass somebody, and even the, the underfunded and the underfunded drivers got podium. Like Daniel Suarez got second. I mean, my God. I mean, Reddick was dominant, just even though he just had a bad tire, and unfortunately, that collected Byron. Big pain right there. Unfortunately, bad day for Chase Elliott. And he looked like he was about to have a, a top a win or at least a top five or top ten again. Cause since he got a top ten at the five hundred, which I was there by the way. If you guys want to see those videos of the five hundred, go ahead and go watch them. But yeah. And Larson like literally really battled up to the front. And Larson gets another win. And only a second start with the Gen 7. So hell fucking yet a Kyle Larson. And I know as a Chase Elliott fan, I know a bunch of fans are shit on him because oh he didn't have to Chase Elliott. It's what I've been saying all day all this time for quite for like the past hour or so. Oh for the love of God, but I'm not gonna rant on that because you're I've already talked about that just early so i'm not going to talk about it in this video because i don't want shit storms going on plaguing up on my video with the, in the comments section but then again it's whatever to me i'm all about being honest and being my own person i know it ain't gonna earn me friends or i'm probably gonna lose subscribers because of this video but nah whatever i don't care it's not my damn problem it's their problem I'm going to still celebrate this win. And regardless, I mean, yeah. Ilya did take his aim. Did really go so overboard and could have handled that situation better. 
and I'm saying that as a diehard Chase Elliott fan. At least I admit, my HMS have dri drivers have done this, done that, whatever the fuck. And yeah, I mean, at least I'm cons I'm a consistent fan, and I have a brain, you know. Don't go. Just have some consistency and have some standards, like me. And I'm here in Auto Club. Maybe getting reconfigured into a short track in 2023. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please don't do it, but it is. When in actuality, it's just the package that we've had that made it so bad for the past several years. And this year, we had good racing again. We have it again. So why the fuck would you need to change that into a short track in 2023? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, I mean, overall, you said had some pass, you had some passing, drivers were able to control their destiny and pass somebody who they're targeting. I mean, we still had good racing for once back. So, yeah, 550 horsepower, good rents. Hasta la vista, we won't miss ya. So, all you PC fans that defended the 550 horsepower package can learn a thing or two about actual, real, good racing for once. Instead of saying, oh, you're just negative. Why don't you be positive about something? Well, we were being positive because we had actual, good racing. So, all you PC positive fanboys need to learn a thing or two about it learn something have some standards but yeah anyways enough of that this was actually a really damn great race some passing and drivers are able to control their destiny and even the underfunded teams actually could get a get a top five or top ten like suarez got podium So overall, it was a great race. And I'm just sucks for Chase Elliott. Had was was looking like to get a top ten, top five early for a win, but that failed. And I'm gonna say it. That spin was intentional to try to, to fuck Larson out of a win. It was on purpose, I'm gonna admit that. But Larson still managed by some miracle. To get the win. So hell yes. And I was beyond relieved. On that. I mean I would have had no problem. Suarez getting his first win. Because I would have made it a, a second consecutive. First time winner. Since Austin Sindra got his first win. At the Daytona 500. Which again I was at that race. And the 500 was actually. A great race. To as I've witnessed. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't make the review, but I've just been super busy lately and I've really had stuff up my ass lately. It's just I've, it's just what sucks about when I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff anymore is why is I don't make a lot of videos as often anymore, but I'll still, I'll still upload videos. No worries, guys. I'll still be on YouTube or whatever. No worries. But yeah, pretty much ran on long enough and talked about this race long enough. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you all enjoyed this race today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And go Kyle Larson, go Hendrick Motorsports. So all you HMS detractors, get used to Hendrick Dynasty 3.0. <laughs> but anyways this is blaze life 334 blazing out